I'm here in the Microsoft 365 homepage signed in and first I'm going to click the little waffle here and we'll choose Microsoft Forms. You can also access this at forms.office.com. Now at first glance everything here looks very similar but we're going to go in to create a new form and you're going to see the facelift that Microsoft Forms has. So click new form and you've got a new starting point. First we let you go with this quick start so you can choose any one of these questions to get started so if I choose something like choice it'll pop me right into a multiple choice question like you've seen before and you can add new questions. This part's pretty similar but the layout here is a little bit different and easier to click on a button so if I want a Likert scale I can choose that. Now I'm going to delete both of these and go back here. If you don't want a quick start guide you can just click close and it will cancel. So I could still give this a form. My TPS report survey I can add an image just like I could in the past. Give it a description and then just click here and get back into that little set of choices. So it's similar but a little bit updated. Another really nice improvement is the templates over on the left. So if I click templates here I have a lot of really great templates to choose from as well as categories. I'm signing in the education account here so what I'm seeing is a little bit different. If you have a commercial account you're going to see more corporate type of templates but in the same way I can click any of these and choose. So in this case I might go to research and choose something like competitive analysis study and we're going to say replace with the template. And here is a nice template that is pre-populated and ready to go. So really easy to choose these different types of templates. Maybe I want to choose event registration. And there we go. Just like in the past you can also preview this. So I'll go here and choose preview. I get a nice preview of what this is going to look like and I can scroll down and check out all the different options. And for those of you that are immersive reader fans there's still the immersive reader so that has not changed at all. I can have those read out loud or translate. I can see the mobile implementation what that's going to look like on a mobile phone. Really easy there and the little choices right here. We'll go back. There are also some updates across the top with the user interface. The little settings gear is now right here and it's really easy to go in and find all the different settings. So who can fill out this form, different options for responses, start date, end date, set time duration. Nothing has changed here. Shuffling questions, also response receipts and then get email notifications. So all of those great options are still under settings. We'll close this. And then you also have this nice button here which is style. So really easy to choose the style of your templates. And you have layouts here. You can see this one is this middle choice. If I want to go to here it's going to completely change that layout. So lots of really easy layout options to choose from. And it's kind of nice. Oh, I like that one a little bit better. And then you also have some layout options here. So I can choose some different things. Maybe I want to have it like this and really easy to choose. And there's some customized ones if you want to choose your own image add the background music, all of that good stuff. We'll go back to this one. So this nice little icon here, little paint palette, you have all of your style options in one nice place. And then you still have the three dot menu so things like collaborate or duplicate. If you want to add someone to be able to collaborate on this link for the form you can generate a link right there and send that out. If you want to duplicate a form you click the link and now I click this. I go up into the browser just to show what this looks like. And it duplicates this form. I say duplicate it and there I'm in a copy. So that's really nice. We'll close this. Other options in the three dot menu you can get a pre filled URL. Multilingual forms that's very popular if you want to add additional languages who can view this form. That makes it handy. If you want to print it, even send feedback to the team, all those things are right there still. Another option that a lot of people aren't aware of is this new live presentation of forms. So if you want to have a live form in a if you're in a meeting, maybe you're at an event in a classroom, you can share this QR code right here on the left or copy the link and send it out and people can real time respond and it will build a word cloud. I've got a deeper dive video on how live presentations work but that is still there. You know you want to make it go full screen, still there. That hasn't changed at all. We're going to close this. That's the present live responses. The collect responses has also not changed at all. If I click this you can see the anyone can respond, only people in my organization. You can choose to keep it anonymous so you don't record the name or you can say only one response per person and then you can share that URL. So if you want to have a short URL to share you can do that. You can do the QR code. You can give an invite and share it with very specific people. So all these same options are still there for responses just in a nice easy to find button right there. 
Now the last update I'm going to show for this forms facelift is the response page. In this case, I'm going to go back to forms and I'm going to open up a quiz. So similar to a form, this is a quiz. So if you're in education, you get to create quizzes. I created a quiz right here earlier and I have 12 responses. So I'm going to go into responses and you can see there's 12 here. And this is a nice modernized refreshed page. All the same information, just a little easier to find and to parse. So the responses, average score, average time. This quiz is still active. It hasn't been closed yet. You can see you have the word clouds. You have all this information gathered in a really nice layout. I can do things like review the answers. So this is a quiz. I can review all the answers. This hasn't changed. It's the same as it's been in the past. Uh, back or even posting scores. So for a quiz, you can post all these scores, Microsoft Teams and posting the scores. The other nice thing is, is that for those of you that haven't checked in a while, you can open the results in Excel, but also now this is going to be real time updated. So here I am in Excel for the web. It says synced with forms. Everything is real time synced up. So new responses that come in, they pop right into here quickly. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.